This video is sponsored by Magic Spoon. Welcome back to the studio. If you're new, I'm Slu. It's a happy day, it's a wonderful day, but I wanna do a little update about what's been good with the studio because it's been six months since I've moved in here, which is crazy because it feels like not a long time, but we got the lease here in the end of May. Now it's like middle of end of November. Um, it's really wild and crazy and a lot has changed. We've been working a lot. Chris behind the camera, us with the podcast. So if this is just like an update, what's going on. Also, I made a really awesome vlog series, like seven episodes of moving out of my old studio, then moving in here, how I raised all this money to get this place. It's all in those vlogs, so go check those out if you're like, what's going on? Um, but this is just the update. So we've kind of established the zones, kind of like, you know, chill area. We got the kitchenette. We have the photo studio, which is really great, which we use all the time. Actually, more than I thought we would be using it in the first kind of four or five months. We use that all the time. It's up right now, but we got the seamless backdrop. This is a lot of storage, and this has turned into something really great, but also something that's gonna change very soon. All of these boxes are hoodies and merch. The hoodies right here, they're actually up right now when this video's out. Um, so go check it out. We also got beanies. We also got sticker packs and pins. Merch, holiday season, really high quality. Go check it out. Anyways, but these shelves are great. Once the merch is out, it's gonna be all storage for like props and costumes because not only do I paint a lot of people in crazy wacky outfits, we do figure drawing once a week, hopefully soon t twice a week. We like to dress models up in crazy things. So we got, you know, Minotaurs, we got Medusa stuff, so we got Roman soldiers, Gandalf, many outfits, but I love props and I'm trying to add to the collection. So eventually one of these shelves will just be for, you know, prop storage, which is awesome. We also got dozens of swords everywhere. But, um, so that's gonna evolve. I think I'm gonna add another big shelf there eventually. This is gonna be rearranged, this mirror. This is kind of all, we'll see how this goes. And then obviously the most juicy and delicious awesome part is the podcast, or I mean, excuse me, the podcast studio is juicy and delicious, equal as the painting area. And the best thing about the painting area is this light because it's really great for filming and painting. I got this wonderful uh, workbench, all of my stuff is out and I've talked about how awesome the first order retrievability theory is. Everything is able to grasp really quickly. The only thing that I might change is sort of this palette, you know. It's kind of annoying and it's great and big, um, but I'm, I'm trying to look for something even to like smaller to put in front of my work so I don't have to go to the side and paint, or I'm just gonna switch to like a, a really big handheld easel, um, which goes like this. Uh, so I'm debating about that because you know, things have been a little inefficient. I've also only been doing really small paintings. I have these really massive oil paintings planned coming up. So those bigger projects will really kind of determine the flow of the setup, what will be most efficient, but it's been great. We got storage, everything. It's been really great. Also look at this beautiful demo, this amazing artist, Ken Gaussian. I don't know if this demo is out, but he was on the podcast. The podcast should be out. And he did this 90 minute demo of me. It's amazing. Hopefully that will be out soon. Um, and yeah, so just working around, you know, where you spend a lot of time is always the place that evolves the most and you tweak things here and there. Um, this space is kind of a dead space because it was where this easel was, but maybe I'll shift all of these tables over and then there'll be more space over there for storage. I don't know. That's just what's going through my head. Um, kind of moving on. This is all just equipment. It's fine, great storage, tools. I use all this stuff all the time. Spray paint, not as much. We did the mural 1000, that video is, should be out. I don't know, anyways. But yeah, swords, props, everywhere. I like stuff everywhere. This is really awesome that I haven't talked about. This is the model stand. I fully built this and we've also been doing figure drawing sessions once a week. Um, it's really exciting. I'm gonna make a very big video about that in the future. But you know, I also got these chairs right behind Chris. Again, it might be really light, but you know, we, we set up a lot of spots for people. Um, the first couple figure drawing sessions were private. I'm starting to roll out more public sessions with friends and especially during or post 2022, like January, um, we're gonna hopefully have like 15 to 20 people, maybe 12 to 15, not 20, 12 to 15 people twice a week doing figure drawing session, we usually do it at night. It's really amazing and it's been my dream and it's been a blast. It's been a lot logistically to kind of figure out, 
with models, getting networks of models and getting equipment for people and running you know, a, a three hour drawing session super efficiently. But it's been great, really, really exciting to keep rolling that out. It's like my favorite thing and it's really awesome. And I'm trying to give people a great resource to draw. But we'll talk about that later in the new video. And then Equal Juice, we're just moving along to probably my favorite place. I love to be here. Chris loves to live here. It's where he lives, the podcast studio. And a lot of work has been going into here. We're finally at this amazing, you know, workflow um, and kind of just like order of operations, getting things done, getting people on how the podcast works. We recently upgraded. Uh, we got another monitor, not only for editing, but you know, we switched this around and then the people on the podcast can watch stuff. Chris can pull things up. So that was kind of a huge upgrade and we've used it a lot. It's like very useful, not only kind of luxurious, definitely, but it's very useful. And um, yeah, we've got, you know, more Polaroids, we got more tchotchkes and just little things. I, I'm trying to think, Chris, maybe you can help me out of like what we've tweaked a little in the past few months that has been different. And they're really just like back end things with like editing, I'd say, and like how the podcast flow. I mean, the research, the different segments we do, it's still a learning curve. I mean, it's so funny trying to talk like an expert, which I'm not, we're not, but it's only been like 12 episodes um, and we're, we're hoping to get to 20 soon here and it's going to be really exciting, but it's amazing. So check out the Sooniverse podcast because it's a great time. You never get to really talk with other awesome artists for like an hour plus at a time. It's like really amazing selfishly for me, but like Chris and I produce like a really interesting show, I would argue. And uh, it's really great. Hmm, let me just think about what I want to say. Hi, I'm Slew. Nah. So my role in all of this is to help. Boom, you pull this down and then you got a full studio right here. You said, you know? I am Chris, I work over there. I sit on the podcast and I, you know? And I, uh, I love it. Me and Sam got a flow going. We talk into these things. Other people come in, we talk into these things. We make cool stuff. We put it on the internet and people are like, oh nice, this is pretty cool. So I also do other things like take Polaroids and throw them up on this wall. And this studio is fully functioning production art studio. And I am gracious, that's not the word. I am lucky enough to be able to use the other things like this photo backdrop and I've had friends come in here and do photo shoots and I like to take videos in here and anything else I can do here because this is a fully functional space and it's amazing. So yeah, it's like really lucky. I, I It's crazy, you know, how busy I've been. Long days, sometimes seven days a week. It's hard to be, pinch yourself and be so grateful, but you know, a lot of the time I am just thinking how lucky I am to have this place. It is a dream come true and it's, my goal and agenda is just to maintain this place, to keep this place, to make enough money to pay for rent, the utilities, and to just keep the baby, which is the studio. So that's like all my life is kind of right now, is just to work, to keep this place for the next year after my one year that was floated to me and the money I raised runs out. Again, if you wanna learn about all the money stuff and how I got this place in my old studio, check out the older videos, specifically the vlog building series of this studio but it's really great. You know, I have a Patreon. That's all the patrons right there behind me who I'm painting. Um, and actually one of them visited recently, Anna. You know, she gave me this painting that a bunch of patrons worked on. That will be more in another vlog, um, their visit. But you know, it's really nice and them visiting, Anna visiting really made me think again how lucky I am. Speaking of like money and keeping the studio, you know, this wouldn't be possible without sponsors for the channel. Today's sponsor is really epic. Magic Spoon is a delicious Saturday morning cartoon inspired cereal upgraded for the 21st century consumer. You know, I've never had enough time to prepare food for my days at the studio and I'm always looking for good snacks to keep me going throughout the day. Not only does Magic Spoon remind me of the wonderful treat cereal used to be, but it's also super healthy for you. Magic Spoon is also keto friendly, gluten -free free, grain free, soy free, and low carb. Only zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, four net grams of carbs, and only 140 calories per serving. Yeah, wow.
They have epic classic flavors like coca, frosted, peanut butter, fruity, and many more. My personal favorite has got to be the frosted without doubt. Magic Spoon is having their best offer yet for Black Friday right now. If you click the link below, you could get 20% off your order. Click the link below to grab a variety pack and try it today. Magic Spoon is so confident in their product. It's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money with no questions asked. So click the link below and use the code SLUBF for 20% off or go to magicspoon.com slash SLUBF to get their best offer yet. This offer isn't going to get any better before it ends on Cyber Monday. So make sure you go try out Magic Spoon right now. But there's a lot of really epic things going down in the future. I finally passed this hump of like, you could think about it, of building this factory to then produce more. You know, it takes a lot of work and effort to build a factory that produces things. You know, I don't know if you get this analogy, but the factory, which is this place, the workflow, you know, getting all the things, me and Chris's relationship, the other people that I have helped me out, all of that has settled and we've gone through some turbulent failures and just developing some sort of optimized workflow to now be good to produce, if you know what I mean. And including with myself, not just with the podcast and other things, even the painting setup and, be, and feeling comfortable. So I have huge painting projects coming um, that I've been thinking about for like almost a year plus. I'm really excited and just other massive projects, including way bigger, you know, compositional photography and photo shoots with set designing and things and just really amazing things I'm so excited for. So December, January, February, you know, every month there's going to be craziness, but like, I'm so excited because it's finally, finally been a while, um, long time coming to get all this going. So I guess we'll end it on here. Um, I don't know what else to say, but check out the merch. This is really loud. Yeah. <laughs> so check out the merch, check out my website, check out Patreon if you want to support me. That's a great way to support me. Merch and Patreon. Keep watching the videos, tell your friends, um, and let me know what you want to see. You know, if there's like a huge project, people, I want some community feedback, um, but craziness coming. What else? That's it. See you in the next video.